Wow, Gilby, you sure love apples, don't you? Sure do. Wagga wow! But now there's one small problem. We're completely out of apples. Uh-oh. And you know how much Frank and all the other firefighters like apples, too. Sorry. Don't feel bad, Gilby. I know. Why don't you go to Chow Bella's store and get us some more apples? I love the store. I know you do. I'll give Chow Bella a call and let her know you're on the way. But before you go, Gilby... Gilby? Gilby, come back! Gilby, you didn't brush your teeth! Gilby, come back! Oh, uh, hey there, Gilby. What's the rush? Gotta go to the store for some apples. Oh, uh, that's too bad. See you later. Bye! Yep, it's too bad Gilby was in such a hurry because I've got some mail for him. I have mail? <laughs> That was a quick trip. Uh, today it looks like two. One, two. Two letters. Wagga, wow! Here's one from Micah and one from Ryan. But since you're in such a hurry, I can just take these inside for you and you can read them later. No, now, please. Okay, let's see here. Ryan's is really good. He wants to know why do we have teeth? That's a good question. It sure is. Well, maybe you can think about it on your way to the store. Or maybe Chow Bella can help you. Here's the letter. Off you go, Gilby. Bye. Today's number is two. <laughs> Is that? Okay, okay, okay. Is that a cat? Okay, okay, okay. It's a kitty cat. Here, kitty cat. Hey, kitty cat. Dogs in a house can't deal with that. Hey, kitty cat. Hey, kitty cat. Speak on a bone doggy. Really, really want that. Okay, 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 Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Gilby, when you see this sign, what's it mean? Mm -hmm. No. What? It means stop. Right. Oh, Gilby, look at your mail. All chewed up. Has teeth marks all over it. Yuck. Gross. Sure is. Hey, are you eating mail, Gilby? No. Phew, that's good. Eat food, Gilby. Like veggies. Like fruit. Apples? Hey, you should go to the store. Get yourself something to chew, like... Apples? Oh, I don't know. Apples? Maybe something round and red and juicy. Apples! <laughs> okay. Safe to cross. Thanks. Bye. Go on, Gilby. Be careful. Gilby, you forgot to brush your teeth what? after you ate. Well, he was just... Gilby, you have to brush your teeth. Gilby, stop. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth, brush your teeth now. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth. Gilby will show you how. Brush your teeth. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth now. Brush your teeth, brush your teeth. 
Gilby will show you how. Bring it down. Wow, this apple is almost a perfect circle. Well, maybe not a perfect circle. <laughs> oh, look who's here. It's my buddy Gilby. What's up? Need some apples, please. <laughs> sure thing. <laughs> and I need help. Why do we need teeth? Hmm. I'll get the apples in just a minute. Can you wait a sec? Sure. Chow Bella's grocery. Oh, hi, Kathy. Yes, Gilby's here. Mm -hmm. And he told me about the apples. And he also asked me, why do we need teeth? And... Talking, just like Chow Bella's doing now. Biting, just like Chow Bella's doing now. Chewing just like Chow Bell was doing now. You're kidding. He forgot to do what? I'll definitely give him that message. No problem. <laughs> Smiling, just like Chow Bell was doing now. Yeah, got it. Gilby, that was Kathy, and I have a really important message for you. But first, here's your apples. Thank you. Now, Gilby, Kathy said to tell you Dear, just a minute. Chow Bella's grocery? Yes, Gilby's here. Sure, I'll ask him. Gilby, this is Karen on the phone, and she wants to know why do baby teeth fall out? I don't know. I'll fetch the answer. All right. Karen? Yes, Gilby's going to fetch the answer for you. All right, bye. Where'd he go? Gilby, Kathy wanted me to tell you that you forgot to brush your teeth. You need to brush your teeth. Hmm. Why do baby teeth fall out? Diamond. We'll be back with more Ask Gilby right after this. If you have a question and you would like Gilby to fetch the answer for you, just email your question to gilby at askgilby.com or send your question to Ask Gilby, 65 Steiner Avenue, Akron, Ohio, 44301. Or you can call Gilby on the telephone toll-free at 1-877-275-4452. That's toll-free, 1-877-ASK-GILBY. Welcome back to Ask Gilby. So I says to my ma, I says, Ma, let me help you with the boxes. <laughs> She's finally throwing out some of my old kid stuff. <laughs> boy, oh boy, did I grow fast. It seems like every day I was growing out of shoes and stuff. <laughs> well, it's, it's kind of like you remember when you were a little puppy, right? I was cute. You sure were. <laughs> well, you remember that itty bitty little collar you had, don't you? Well, you remember how that collar felt smaller on you? Well, that collar wasn't shrinking. Oh, no. You were getting bigger. <laughs> That's right. And the same thing happened to me. Yep. I put on my favorite shirt one day, and it was way too small. And then I, I took a deep breath, and you know what happened? I popped all the buttons. <laughs> Busted them right off. <laughs> Wagga, wow. Yeah, but that's what happens sometimes when you're growing up. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes you have to give up the little kid stuff so you can get the big kid stuff. Oh, that's right. Like baby teeth? Oh, just like that. Boy, I tell you, you are one smart puppy. <laughs> Those little baby teeth have got to fall out to make room for the big teeth. <laughs> oh, here's your stop. Ugh. All right there, Gilby. Have fun at the library. Oh, and say hello to Isabel for me, okay? Oh, and thanks for the apple. <laughs> Today's letter is T. of teeth. Shark teeth. Dog teeth. Cat teeth. <coughs> My teeth. My teeth. My teeth. All kinds of teeth. Bell, can you help me? Do you know why baby teeth fall out? Oh dear, oh dear. What? I'm sorry, Gilby. I have a big problem I can't figure out myself. Maybe I can help. Well, see, Gilby, I have two new books, and there isn't any room on the shelf because of all these older books. That's a problem. What to do, what to do. Well, I guess I could just really try to jam them. Uh, no, that won't work. The shelf might break. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. I have an idea. If I take two of the old worn out books off the shelf, I'll have room... For the two new ones! Yes, that will work! Get rid of the two old ones to make room for the two new ones because the old ones are kind of worn out and have some pages missing and the new ones will last for a long time. Hmm, that reminds me of something. Baby teeth? That's right! You were asking me why your baby teeth fall out. And it's just like my book problem. Your baby teeth fall out to make room for the... New, new teeth. teeth! Come on, Gilby, let's go check your email. Okay. Okay, Gilby, let's check your email. Ooh, lots of good questions. There's one from Kristen and Sarah and Jonah. Hey. That's one about teeth. Oh my gosh, Gilby, you're right. Jonah has a good question about teeth. How do we take care of our teeth? Hmm. Hmm. That's a toughie. Can you think of someone who can help you out? I sure can. Firefighter Frank. Oh, and thanks for the apple, Gilby. Good thing I have my toothbrush so I can clean my teeth after I eat it.
two. T W O two. Opposites. Gilby is up. Gilby is down. The ball is big. The ball is small. The door is closed. The door is open. Hey, Gilby. Oh. Are you okay? I'm on my way to see the dentist. I've got a pretty sore tooth. I'm going to let him fix it. Will it hurt? Nah. In fact, when he's done, I'm going to feel so much better. See, Gilby, that's what a dentist is. He's a tooth doctor. First, he'll take a picture of my tooth. It's called an x-ray. Then he'll fix any holes he's got to fix. And when he's done, he'll clean them and keep them shiny. It'll be great. Dentist! Hey, that reminds me of... I know, I know! A song! Who keeps my teeth white? Checks my bite, my dentist. My dentist. He uses dental floss to clean in the cracks of my dentist. My dentist. So when I, I smile and my teeth shine, you know he keeps all my teeth in line. Don't be scared, he's my friend and my dentist. My dentist. Oh, I better go to the dentist. Bye, Gilby. Bye. Hi, my name is Josh. I'm going to the dentist's office. I'm a little scared. My mom told me everything was going to be okay, but I'm still a little scared. I was waiting to see the dentist when a lady came and called my name. She said, hi, Josh. I'm Dr. Jones. I'm your dentist. She seemed real nice, but I still was scared. She walked me over to the big chair. The chair was very soft. Then she put a bib around my neck. I thought maybe she was going to feed me. That kind of made me laugh. The lights are very bright in the dentist's office. The dentist shook my hand then put a mask over her mouth. Look at her silly looking glasses and rubber gloves. The dentist has all sorts of tools to help keep your teeth healthy. This one has a tiny mirror on the end of it. Cool! The dentist is taking a picture of my teeth. She called it an x-ray. I have never seen a camera like that before. The dentist let me look at the pictures of my teeth. Those are my teeth. Then the dentist gave me my very own toothbrush. I am not scared of the dentist anymore. It's kind of fun to visit the dentist. We'll be right back with more Ask Gilby. For Ask Gilby videotapes, DVDs, or if you would like more information on the Ask Gilby Children's Television Show, visit the Ask Gilby website at www.askgilby.com. That's www.askgilby.com. Welcome back to Ask Gilby. Boys and girls, I love to take treats to the firehouse. Oh, firefighters are the best. But this time, I have a special surprise for Gilby. Oh, shh, here he comes now. Hi, Gilby. Hi, Mrs. Hiddlebiddle. Want an apple? Oh, thank you, Gilby. I love apples. Me too. Oh, and I have something for you too. I just left it at the firehouse. 
A present? Yes, but I'm not telling you what it is. You're going to have to wait until you get back home to the firehouse. Okay. <gasps> but you know what? I could give you a clue. Are you ready? Uh-huh. It's something you use after you eat. Waga. Hmm. Oh, well, Gilby, I've got to get going. Thank you so much for the apple. You're welcome. Thank you for the supplies. Gilby is all done with his bath. He is a little tired after he takes a bath, but no matter how tired he is, Gilby always brushes his teeth. There's Gilby putting the toothpaste on the toothbrush. And now Gilby is using this tiny string between his teeth called dental floss. Dental floss keeps his gums clean and healthy. Gilby brushes his teeth when he wakes in the morning and before he goes to bed at night. Wow, Gilby's white teeth sure are shining. Good night, Gilby. Frank? Hi there, Gilby. What you doing? Well, uh, I'm gonna clean the fire truck. You see, I got the bucket right here because first you need water, right? How about soap? I bet you need soap to wash stuff. Well, sure, I've got some soap. And here's the scrub towel. That engine will shine bright by the time I get through with it. You see, you have to take good care of things so they'll last longer. They do? You bet. And I know how to get the job done. You need to have the right tools. That's what all this stuff is. My tools for taking care of the truck. Yeah, tools. Hey, Frank, what an apple. Well, geez, uh, thanks, Gilby. Gilby! Well, well, hey, it sounds like Kathy's looking for you. Whoops, gotta go. See you later. Today's color is white. My favorite sandwich in the whole wide world is peanut butter and jelly. I can make it all by myself. First I get two pieces of bread, then the peanut butter and jelly. Next I need a knife. My mom says to be very careful when using a knife. I take the knife and spread the peanut butter on the bread, just like this. Then I do the same thing with the jelly. It's kind of messy, but sure is good. Then I put the bread together. My mom cuts the peanut butter and jelly fancy style into four pieces. See, making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich is easy and fun.
There you are, Gilby. We've been looking everywhere for you. Did you get the apples? Uh. Oh, oh no, Gilby, you didn't eat all No, the I gave them to my friends. That was very nice of you, Gilby. And by the way, Mrs. Hittlebittle left something for you. The surprise! And I like surprises, too. Let's see what's inside. Okay. <gasps> Look, Gilby, it's a brand new toothbrush. Yay! Hey, everybody, I found Gilby, and he has a brand new toothbrush so he can... Gilby? Gilby! Now where'd he go off to? Brush up, brush up, brush up. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Brush, 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 brush. Brush up, brush up, brush up. Brush up, brush up.